fuck is what? This thing is man. Oh my god, Dave is not getting the VIP parking, too. I'm just. I'm coming back. I'm on the way. I mean, he said, I'm at work for now, but keep me posted. Tell mommy I love her. <laughs> Y'all see him that his patient. Oh, hey, I just wanted to let you know that your patient in room 57, she's about eight to nine centimeters. All right, so I'm eight to nine yep. centimeters right now. And it is, what time okay. is it? She had a couple variables, but I just turned her over and it seems to be 8.40 a.m. June, 8.40 a.m. June 20th. I'm glad I got the epidural. Because you didn't feel none of that. Didn't feel none of what? Oh, I feel the pressure. But it ain't. We'll take pressure over pain, right? Yeah, like. I didn't expect it to go this fast, though. But I was, I'm still glad I got the epidural. Well, I wasn't even recording. I'm looking for the van keys. And they at the house. You said what? My van. Why is the keys at the house? Because I took them and offered them. I just had them over. Where are they trying to go in the rain? So now they can't go to the movies? Just another thing. I didn't think they would be going in the rain. About to push your boy out. Coming out, shooting. Mm. Three setbacks. Mm. Mm. I'm excited. <laughs> oh, she's excited because you told me that. I'm like, okay. Yeah, eight to nine. Oh, yeah, eight to nine, but we're chilling. We're not. Uh, we're gonna wait a little bit. This is you. Where is Dr. Jackson here? Yeah, he's in surgery right now. So as soon as uh, I get to go, and it's she still has a little bit of cervix left, so we can't really start pushing or anything. Oh, okay. But um, once that reduces, and he gives me the go ahead. I told you, come right to when you get ready. Shut down for a little bit. Every, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shut down? Yeah. He just. Oh, wow. He just came out of my stomach. It does look like he kind of got you. That's coming out. Oh, no, y'all. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. No, it's a video. So, what do you think about your new brother? Good. Good? Mm. What's that on your chin? He got. He was doing too much, and I scratched. What do you think about having another baby brother? I know he was talking about my chin. Oh. Come here, Mike. I'm going to see your chin. This is my lunch. Some chicken. I ate the squash and zucchini. What are y'all doing? Playing? I thought you were going to take your hair out He's gonna keep right on till he end up with a brush cut. With a brush cut? 
So this is my first time feeding my baby. <laughs> um, he was born at 9.35 this morning and now it's 9.15 p.m. So it's been about 12 hours since he's been born. And it's really like my first time really interacting with him. This um, labor and delivery was a lot for me. Very intense. I took about two naps after he was born. I usually don't take a nap after I have my kids. Like I'm usually just too much on the high from having my new baby, but this was a lot. And I think they don't want him drinking no more than 15 milliliters. So let me check. Okay, I have a little more. Teacher, we got two strikes already, y'all. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Hundred women. You didn't see a man do one. Y'all, I feel so rusty. Watch a video game. Watching a video game. He's all alert now. I've been trying to figure out who he looks like. I feel like he looks like. I don't know. He has my bonus daughter's like mouth and chin, but I think he has my eyes. I think he has his dad's nose. Hey, baby. No. made it home I just fed and changed him um my boyfriend just went to the pharmacy to get my prescriptions filled we forgot to drop them off <clears throat> on the way home and I don't want to end up in pain tonight because I know I'm gonna have to you know get up at some point during the middle of the night so, like, this has just been an adjustment for me, needing pain meds after birth. Like, I know it's normal, but I've just never had to take pain meds to be able to operate. But I guess I just got to get over that. Um, so, right now, we're just relaxing. Um, even though my last child was a boy, I didn't have as much anxiety back then, I guess. So, this circumcision is, like, driving me crazy. Like, I'm just wondering... Like, is he hurting? Did he pee? Do I need to change it again? Do I need to put some more Vaseline? I'm using like a half a tube of Vaseline with each diaper change because I just don't want it to stick. I just want him to be comfortable. I just, I don't know, even though baby's crying, just hearing him cry, just, I don't like it. I'm just like, I don't want him crying at all. Like... <laughs> Any little cry, I'm like, no, let me fix it. I don't want him to cry. But um, it's like I'm a first-time mom again after six years. So it's just going to be an adjustment. I'm pretty sure after the first few days, I'm just going to be like, all right, he okay. He crying, but he all right. But um, so, yeah, I'm just waiting on dad to get back. Um, I really need to just put him down so that I can kind of get some stuff organized because I don't want everything starting to pile up. So we just got home. So it's like stuff all over the bed and stuff like that. 